the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are advertising for a senior communications officer to join their team at Kensington Palace. The full-time job has been listed online and requires the successful candidate maintain confidentiality and exercise discretion at all times. Essential criteria also includes excellent interpersonal skills and the ability to build strong relationships with internal and external stakeholders. The job description states, this role will be part of a multidisciplinary team working together to communicate the work of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The successful candidate will lead on communications plans for their Royal Highness's engagements and support on the delivery and communication of projects. The role will also involve responding to media inquiries on matters related to the Duke and Duchess and their family. Applications will close on Monday, May 3rd at 11.55 p.m. The website states all offers of employment are subject to a number of pre-employment checks to meet security and personnel requirements. The new staff member will join the Cambridge's team at a fairly tumultuous time for the royal family, due to the bombshell claims made by Meghan and Harry in their recent tell-all interview. The couple accused an unnamed member of the royal family of racism, stating questions were raised over the color of Archie's skin. Meghan Markle's fans have gathered around the Duchess of Sussex after a paparazzi shot of herself and Archie was released hours before Prince Louis's birthday. Fans and supporters of Meghan and Prince Harry took to Twitter to protect the Sussexes from online attacks in the wake of the publication of a snap with her child. The timing of this picture's publication sparked criticism by some social media users, who accused the Duchess of trying to overshadow Prince Louis's birthday. However, as her supporters noted, the photograph HASNT been planned by the Sussexes and was taken by a paparazzo, with the Duke and Duchess left powerless over when or where it would be released. 